everyone, I'm Sophia with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Many of the church's saints throughout history have been recognized as martyrs. Now, when you first hear of martyrs, you probably think of someone who's died for the faith. While this is true, the term martyr simply means witness or testimony. Throughout the early church, martyrs were anyone who sacrificed an aspect of life or their life altogether for the sake of proclaiming the good news. We can break these types of martyrs down into three main types, red, green, and white. Red martyrs are the most common that we hear about today, where they shed their blood and were put to death for the faith. Green martyrs are those who practice extreme fasting and penance for the love of the Lord. And white martyrs are those who have been persecuted or brutally tortured for the faith, but didn't necessarily lose their lives. Today's saint would be considered a white martyr. Following the death of his father in the early third century, Felix sold everything he had, gave his proceeds to the poor, and began his journey to the priesthood. Shortly after being ordained, he befriended the later bishop and Saint Maximus of Nola. But life for these two clergymen wouldn't be an easy one. Emperor Decius was no exception to the Christian-hating emperors of the first few centuries following Christ's death and forced most clergy into hiding. Bishop Maximus was able to escape in the mountainside outside of Nola, but unfortunately Felix was captured and arrested. He was beaten and tortured for the faith, but God never abandoned the young clergyman. There were two legends surrounding his period of persecution. First, it was claimed that an angel helped him escape imprisonment so that he could care for the sick bishop in hiding. Then, while hiding in a vacant building with Bishop Maximus, a spider quickly spun a web over the doorway to trick the soldiers into thinking the building was still abandoned. Eventually, the two men, along with countless Christians, were able to come out of hiding at the death of the emperor in the year 251. Eventually, Bishop Maximus died and the people thought Felix would be the best successor. But he humbly declined and requested Quintinius to serve as the next Bishop of Nola, seeing he had been a priest slightly longer than Felix. The guy had only been a priest one week longer, but the humble servant of God felt he was being called to a more simple and hidden way of life. At the end of the day, Nola had a shepherd and Felix tended to what little land he had left, giving what he made away to the poor. We're not all called to die a martyr's death, but we are all called to testify to the truth that is found in our Lord Jesus Christ at the point of persecution. God also doesn't demand we seek out a martyr's death, but to simply recognize that death has no power over us. In the end, our God has already defeated death and dying to ourselves can only mean rising to new life in Christ. May we keep this in our hearts as we live our lives for the greater glory of the kingdom of God. St. Felix of Nola, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint.